Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's still early in the season, but a lot can be learned from early matchups in conference play. Time to take you out to the Pac-12. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Stadium in Boise is the site for today's matchup. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. UCLA will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. always have guys that are near the top statistically and that's no exception today we're really looking forward to watching this kid play from their own 23 yard line it's second down Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. yard line. It's first down. Has some daylight. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Keeper goes for about a yard. That makes it third and three. From the 49 yard line, third down. Tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run.
from the 24-yard line. First down. secondary. The safety's got to know better than to commit to that ball fit. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 77 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Boise State yet set to kick this one away. Marcus fields it at the one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And they push him out to 39-yard line. UCLA's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 36. That brings up second and one. Five wide. Completes it across the middle. He's tackled at about the 23 yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And down he goes at the 10. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. Touchdown, Bruins. Oh, that's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Hawkeyes arrive at today's game ranked number 23 in the nation. The Hawkeyes deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Hawkeyes have the lead, 17-3. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Collins gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. the stop at the 33. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Roger, Roger. Right, Mike, Mike, Mike's, Mike's 
Here comes the pressure. He lets it fly. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Tackle around the 49-yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. their own 49 yard line first down they go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss It. He tackles him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. He might not be able to get the pass off, and he's going to come up with a sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. We've played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Price, the return man. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Get to that quickly. And he's tackled at the 34. First and ten. Ball in 34. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. And we got to get to the ball. Team, we got to get to the ball. Here we go. Light 80. Come on. Come on. Come on. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team. That brings him second and five. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That'll make it fourth and two. Boise State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Hawkeyes took the field ranked 23rd. This is new for this program, playing as a ranked team. How will they handle the pressure? This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Iowa, they're adding to their lead. Iowa leads it 27-17. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Yeah. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. Hands off up the middle and stopped. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. That brings us third and ten. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 35. on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. They bring him down in the backfield. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. down now and they need to get it to the 25. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Roger, Roger. Boise State has a three-point lead. Roger. They'll bring him down the nine-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes his way to about the 18. down 10 to go ball on the 33 the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation fires quickly and he's got his man you know what after a play like that i wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. Boise State is up by three. Take 
second down around the 45 yard line. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. It's a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. He's looking for six. Almost intercepted. Now you hate to foreshadow and assume that that drop could come back to bite them, but if this offense is able to put the ball into the end zone after that drop pass, this game could be over. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He airs it out. He caught it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 99 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Cook looks ready to kick this one off. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made right around the 34. I tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Slings it out there incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. The pass complete and taken down immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Boise State right now in the driver's seat, it looks like, after that slow start. Well, I've been impressed with the way these guys have been able to come out hitting on all cylinders these last few series. We'll see if they can maintain that. It looks like it's going to be a long football game, and they're going to need more points. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Just try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He goes downtown. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. So at the end of the half, Boise State leads it. 17-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, rain. Every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, 
too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that, you, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 23. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Down he goes around the 34 yard line. First down. yard line second down fires that quickly to the tailback he's tackled at about the 35 46. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. He's taken down around the 48 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 47. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. awaits the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. That makes it second and 14.
They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Young to punt. Marcus fields it to 48. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. And they'll get him in the backfield. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. it out to about the 10. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. for a nice game. So at the end of three, the Broncos lead 17-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and the field goal is good. UCLA is ready to kick it away. Price from the seven. 
He's tackled at the 36. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Boise State up seven points. He's at midfield. And they finally bring him down at the 34-yard line. First and ten following that big run. Here we go. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. They come out on an empty backfield. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Price intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. All day, all day, every day, any day, like the team. Let's go! He's in trouble, and he might want it all here, and does! That close to being intercepted. the distance and he got it Cook ready to kick and he got all of this one great kick and they can forget about returning this one They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Now he tries to buy some time. From their own 21-yard line, second down. And that's all. Burgess gained seven yards with a catch there. That makes it 37. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. That makes it 34. Collins is waiting for the snap. Price fields it at the 37. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Sanders takes the give. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than three minutes in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. They'll bring him down at 
the 18. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Sanders picks up five with the carry. The Bruins are going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. He fights forward to about the 10. that time on the option. He read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 2010 Bronco. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.